I'm Paul Basilka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 18th question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1 from the Blue Book app. Number 18 reads, in 19, I believe that's 66, Emmett Ashford became the first African-American to umpire a Major League Baseball game. His energetic gestures announcing when a player had struck out and his habit of barreling over a hit ball to see if it would land out of blank transform the traditionally solemn umpire role into a dynamic one. So since the blank is focusing on this word choice for the second sentence, I'm going to read over the second sentence with the answer choices in place. I'm also going to give you analogous examples, similar examples that are simpler to help you to understand why the wrong answers are wrong. So with answer choice A in place, his energetic features announcing when a baseball player had struck out and his habit of barreling over after a hit ball to see if it would land out of bounds helped transform the traditionally Solomon Parr role into dynamic one. Sounds fine. Um, let's look at the other answer choices. Answer choice B. His energetic features, actually before I give you answer choice B in place, I'm going to give you a similar example. So if I say the dog ran outside, could that be its own sentence? Yes, it can. It's got the subject dog, it's got the verb ran, and it's an independent clause. It's a complete thought. It could stand alone as its own sentence, a complete thought. That's a part that's a little more arbitrary, a little more hazy, a little more abstract. Um, now, if I replace ran with running, you're going to listen for it. You still have the uh, subject dog, you still have uh, a verb running, but it's no longer an independent clause. So if the only verb in a sentence is an ing verb, it's not going to be a complete sentence. So the dog running outside, no longer a complete thought. Pretty easy to hear there. Now I'm going to read with be in place. Listen for the fragment. Um, his energetic features announcing when a player had struck out in his habit of barreling over a hit ball to see if it would land out of bounds, helping transform the traditionally solemn umpire role into a dynamic one, blah, blah. If you continue this sentence, then it could be an independent clause, but as it stands, it is not. Um, answer choice C. This is typical of a fragment as well. For my original example, the dog ran outside. If I throw that in before the verb, before ran, it's going to turn into a sentence fragment. The dog that ran outside. Now you can continue the sentence and make it an independent clause. The dog that ran outside jumped over the fence, something like that. But listen for it. I'm going to read with Andrew Choice C in place. It's going to be a sentence fragment. His energetic uh, gestures announcing when a player had struck out and his habit of barreling over a hit ball to see if it would land out of bounds that helped transform the dynamic, sol the traditionally solemn umpire role into a dynamic one. It winds up being a fragment. And you could continue the sentence in both cases, B and C, in order to make them independent clauses. But as they are, they are not. Answer choice D, what we see is the infinitive form of a verb. Every sentence needs a conjugated verb. And in answer choice D, we see that it's uh, not conjugated to help. Infinitive form of the verb. You might be familiar with that term from Spanish or whatever your language class is, rather than from English class. That's what I remember from high school learning that in like my language class, my Spanish class, not my English class. But to give the analogous example, the dog to run outside, not a, not a complete sentence, not a complete thought there. So reading with that in place, his energetic features announcing when a player had struck out and his habit of barreling after a hit ball to see if it would land out of bounds to help transform the traditionally solemn umpire role into a dynamic one. Yeah, what about it? D is gone as well. Correct answer is going to be A. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty in uh, identifying a sentence fragment, whatever is not a complete sentence, or finding the correct verb form. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.